hello folks welcome again to another session on problem solving i hope so far the journey has been good and you have understood quite a lot concepts in mathematics in especially in exponents and other such topics now uh, to understand the concepts better we know that we have to solve a lot of problems yes it is very much needed uh, however much you hate it but then solving more number of problems will always make your concepts much clearer okay so let us take up another question in this question it is says it is said x y z are positive real numbers then show that this this expression has to be proven to be equal to 1 now how to go about it let us take the lhs first okay left hand side so we will rewrite the entire expression once again x minus 1 y and this is y to the power minus 1 z and z to the power minus 1 x okay now the same thing can be written as x to the power minus 1 y whole to the power 1 by 2 why is it because under root a can be written as a to the power 1 by 2 isn't it next is y to the power minus 1 z to the power half and z to the power minus 1 x to the power half okay now what we can separate the powers on both the variables in each term so minus 1 to the power half times y to the power half and what rule i'm using actually so a b to the power m is equal to a to the power m times b to the power m this is what is the rule now the next term is y to the power minus 1 whole to the power half then z to the power half then again z to the power minus 1 whole to the power half into x half okay so now what this is if you let, let's now club all the powers of x y and z so this is x to the power 1 minus 1 by 2 y because if you see this expression here x to the power minus 1 to the power half is nothing but x to the power minus 1 by 2 right so i'm writing it directly and then we'll take this x here so this is x to the power half again then this y will come here y to the power half and y to the power minus half is next then z to the power half and z to the power minus half again now this step will be x to the power minus half plus half why because a to the power m into b to the power n is sorry a to the power n into b to the power m b to the power oh, sorry a to the power m into a to the power n is a to the power m plus n okay now y similarly it is minus half plus half and then z similarly minus half plus half so now you simplify you'll get x to the power zero into y to the power 0 into z to the power 0 and we know that anything to the power 0 if it is a positive real number it will be 1 1 into 1 into 1 it was given that x and y and z are all positive real numbers so if i raise those to 0 it will be 1 right so hence the value is 1 which is equal to the rhs hence proved right so in this problem we have to prove this expression in lhs to this expression in rhs so let us start right now if i take lhs what is lhs if you see lhs is a to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 upon a right divided by 1 upon a plus 1 upon b and why is this a to the power minus n is given as 1 upon a to the power n correct Similarly, on the, the second term in the LHS is 1 upon A divided by 1 upon A minus 1 upon B. Now, it is just a matter of taking LCM and simplifying. So, hence, the number is here, it will be 1 by A. And if you see in the denominator, the LCM will be AB. Correct? And hence, the terms will be B and then this is A. Right? And then plus 1 upon 1 upon A divided by divided by a b and this is b minus a what is it now so this is equal to 
nothing but 1 by a into a b by a plus b isn't it and this is plus 1 by a into a b by b minus a right so if a is not equal to 0 so this will go and here also a will be can, can a will be cancelled so now it is reduced to b upon a plus b plus b upon b minus a right so hence if you now see if you take the lcm again so a plus b and here it will be b minus a correct and then what is there on top you will get b times b minus a plus b times a plus b isn't it so what is this now so if you see this is b square minus a b plus b a plus b square i'm just opening the brackets over there and a plus b times b minus a so if you see this a b and this a b will go so finally you are left with 2 b square divided by b square minus a square and why is that so if you notice this part is nothing but b plus a times b minus a so hence it is nothing but b square minus a square hence this is the answer